emergency is I have a snake in my car. Some creepy creatures getting a little too close for comfort. That's right. Heavy rains and high waters around Wichita means more critters are popping up in our neighborhoods. Those darn critters, especially mm -hmm. these guys, these snakes. Cake's Ben Jordan live in West Wichita with what's behind the recent snake invasion. Hey, Ben. Susan, the unusually wet spring followed by oh, an oddly wet start to summer has, has snakes looking at uh, going over to uh, start to summer to push many snakes out of their natural habitat. 911 dispatchers have taken calls about snakes large and small in backyards, even in cars. Twitter County 911, what city is there emergency in? Yes, yes, uh, Wichita. I have a snake in my car. We are driving into Wichita and suddenly one of them saw a snake in the back seat. Whenever dispatchers take a call about snakes, it's usually volunteer Terry Dove to the rescue. I have a snake stick here that's kind of like a grabber. She's been called out several times in the past week. Most of the calls are for large garter snakes like this four footer crawling in a front yard. Right there, right there. There she is. But there are also a lot of gopher and black rat snakes crawling into neighborhoods to seek higher ground from high waters. And like I said, this time of year they come out, they're hungry, they're looking for a sweetie. Dove tells me the good news is these species around Wichita aren't poisonous, but they will bite if you bother them. They have as much fear of you as you have of them. It's their defense mechanism. They will coil up, rattle their tail like a rattlesnake, strike, bite. The best bet is to leave them alone until they go away, but what if they make it into a garage house or even worse, a car? Take a piece of duct tape with a sticky side up and put it around doorways or window wells, and they'll go and crawl onto that and they're going to stick to it, and then you call me. After getting this close to a harmless four foot long gardener snake, I'm definitely going to be keeping her number. Dove tells me these snakes will likely go back to their natural habitat after everything dries out and the waters receive. Reporting live in West Wichita, Ben Jordan, Cake News. All right, thanks a lot, Ben. And Cake News is on your side with tips to help prevent snakes from coming into your yard in the first place. First of all, Clean up the clutter, that's easy. Stacks of wood, rocks, or debris, they are very inviting for snakes to hide in. Mow the lawn, snakes also like to hide in tall grass. And keep your hedges trimmed. That's where mice, frogs, and other potential food for snakes often take shelter. Yeah, they